the camera does not do these views justice it's like you're looking at this and you're like is this real good morning from moab city utah it is super bright right now but I'm in the back of my hotel. I'm about to leave and head over to Arches, but look at this. This hotel is called Scenic View Inn, and it definitely has some scenic views. Like, the camera does not do it any justice. Wow, but let's go ahead and get our day started. We're gonna um, hike up Arches National Park and we have a long day ahead of us. But I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey and uh, hopefully this video can show you some things to do while you're in Utah, so let's go. I'm only here for 48 hours. You guys already know how I do it. But I'm at the Arches National Park right now. I'm about to just check out some views, potentially hike up to Delicate Arch or maybe the windows. And uh, this is my first time hiking. I am super nervous, but super excited. I'm so excited to be here. So I can see why they call this area the Garden of Eden. Like, if you see how these trees are, that looks like, you know, the Garden of Eden, the Bible, right? Yavija Bible, right? <laughs> this is um, this is so beautiful, though. It's like everywhere you stop is something else to see. Like, wow, just wow. We made it to the windows. I'm like so excited. We finished up our first little hike. I'm here with my sister. My sister, my sister, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, we finished up our first hike at the Garden of Eden and uh, we drove over to the windows now. We're hiking up to the north and south windows, I believe, and then we're gonna go across on the other side. So these hikes is actually not too bad. I want to say maybe it's like easy to moderate. It wasn't that difficult, right? Yeah, this one wasn't that difficult, but... Because this has a trail. Right. <laughs> Apparently, the hike up to Delicate Arch is, um, is something serious. So, I'm a little bit nervous for that one, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. Alright, I gotta pay attention because, see, this side right here? There's no rail, so... Gotta watch where I'm going. Leaving north window. I think we're walking over to south window now. Um, 
Man, you can just spend so much time here just looking around and you're just like appreciating nature, mother nature. This just being here on its own, um, it's beautiful. You're just like, wow, this is amazing. And I'm from somewhere where it's nothing but like flatlands green grass it's like fascinating because i don't see stuff like this on a regular so all this is pretty new to me and it's um really nice exploring and just getting out of your comfort zone doing something you've never done before i got my water with me so i'm good loving nature It's a little wild horse canyon. I'm actually kind of nervous because this, um, it is free, which is good. You just park and start walking into the wilderness. There's no one here. Um, we're not experienced hikers. <laughs> we have no weapons. Um, it is about five o'clock. The sun sets at about 6.30. Of course, there's not a, a street light, light post lamp in sight. Um, but we're here, we made it. We're gonna try to enjoy this um, walk. And it's really quiet but it's quite a walk from the parking lot to get to the trail um so we're gonna walk for a little bit the wild horse canyon side is pretty dope and that's the side that i want to check out so i hope we go in the right way um, Seemed like there was only one path to take and then it kind of breaks up and we're gonna take the way to go to the right This is crazy. <laughs> Why am I here? Look at us being a We found people. <laughs> I was so scared. But after us, there's nobody else. Oh, and you can do it, but your purse—it'll be so narrow, your purse might not get through. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, I have water in here because I'm like. Yep, I've never done this it. before. <laughs> yeah, 
it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But okay, it's gonna yeah. Be dark I'm going to hurry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. My camera died, so I have to start recording on my phone. It's 6.28 right now. He was like speed walking through. My sister up there playing gospel music. Because this place is just incredible. And if you're ever in Utah, I would definitely recommend walking through Little Wild Horse Canyon. <laughs> Just come before five. <laughs> so you're not rushing, but oh my gosh. It's even prettier. Oh. We made it out. Oh, we made it out with just a little bit of sunlight left. Look at this. Sun is going down. And the crazy thing is, we ended up coming out a different way than when we came in. So I'm just glad that the trail brought us back to the parking lot because Look, it's dark. You can barely see me, but the wind is blowing and it's time to get back on the road. Nothing like soaking in a hot spring after all that walking yesterday. soaking in this hot spring let me tell you guys a little bit more about this place it's definitely more on the mom and pop side of things um it's pretty much surrounded by the mountains and greenery which is beautiful he has tubs at the top that you can soak in along with the main pool at the bottom but you definitely get farm vibes with all the different animals that are around, so just be prepared. It's not that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare 